Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Friday, February 5th, 2021. So yesterday, those bulls stayed on the gas. They really, really pushed hard. We set new records in the market yesterday, and we're trying to push through this morning ahead of that open that jobs report. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink? Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, this morning we have those bulls um, engaging big time here today. They're pushing up ahead of the jobs report, kind of as if that jobs report doesn't matter. And that may be the case. Last night um, in an all night session, the Senate passed a spending resolution kind of clearing the path it was a necessary spending resolution it had procedural votes all night long with amendment after amendment but um it looks like that has kind of um, helped move things forward for them to um, get to the 1.9 trillion dollar spending plan proposed by president biden so now we have to wait and see how that's going to go but right now it would seem that the market is pretty fueled up on the idea that that's going to happen it, it's an interesting situation that we see nowadays that the market really doesn't care about jobs it doesn't really care, care much about anything as long as the government continues to deficit spend but that said, the bulls are in control. You can see what I've been talking about here um, lately has been my concern, is that these resistance levels in the chart um, as we push back up. But I gotta tell you, the bears really had nothing to say as we continue to move back up. And you can see this morning looking for a record breakout here in the Dow. And um, everything is seems to be copacetic. So, um, the only real danger that I see in this market at the moment is the fact that we've rallied so far so fast that if we happen to stumble along the way, just notice there really is no price support underneath this. And that would mean that we could, if we do stumble in some way, we could get a substantial pullback um, to occur. But as it, as it looks right now, um, the bulls are in control they've regained control and everything is looking to the upside we continue to stay energized we continue to push this market to uh, kind of unbelievable limits here and um, the bulls just have all the energy in the world it seems to continue to drive higher so let's take a look at the spy spy um, setting new record highs yesterday, uh, blowing through resistance levels, um, kind of like they didn't even really exist. Like I said, the bears really had nothing to say here. Um, they didn't put up much of a fight in any way, um, in, 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 in any level as we pushed up in here. So I didn't expect them to give up quite this easily, but they certainly did. And, um, once again, I'm going to say about the only major risk that we, we show here in this chart is just that possibility that if we stumble, this is, that's a long potential fall with really no support um, underneath this price action. So watch that carefully. We'll, we'll want to stay on our toes in and uh, be a little bit careful. One of the things I want to suggest that after such a strong rally, um, if you're holding long positions, it might be a good idea to take some profits into this weekend. Think about that to reduce some of the risk because we have stretched up here pretty, pretty substantially in the last few days. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the cues, this was the strongest index of the bunch. We held support in this area and now we have rallied out to new record highs. They did have a little bit more of a challenge. The bears fought just a little bit harder here in um, the queues, but you can see the trends are um, resuming that bullish appearance. Um, everything looks um, geared to move higher. We seem to be really focused in on that $1.9 trillion stimulus package that may be on on the way we'll see how that plays out once it happens one of the things i do fear is that we may 
have already priced in that stimulus package and we have to think about the possibility that we could it could be a sell the news event once that comes out so um, watch carefully for that and then if we take a look at IWM IWM was the first yesterday to soar on through pushing on um, higher here pushing to new record highs you can see we broke on through that resistance level in the chart pushing on up so IWM made that leap first thing yesterday and um, never looked back and we're trying to extend that move today ahead of the employment situation number let's take a look at the uh, VIX. Now the VIX did a good job yesterday as well in that the fear continues to drop out of this market and I think that's a good sign if we're going to remain bullish we need to see that fear continuing to drop. Now one thing I'll point out is we're reaching down here into some support levels of the VIX and we'll want to watch that pretty closely in case we happen to catch a bounce or if we happen to stumble over this um, yeah, employment situation number today but watch that closely we are hanging in here nicely and we're dropping back down around those 20 handles it still seems odd to me that we're setting new record highs around 20 handles we should be down in the teens but um, we're not and we're going to have to stay on our toes when it comes to that volatility volatility still is relatively extreme um, considering the position of the overall market so watch that closely Close. Then if we take a look at uh, T2122, this is the one that gives me a little bit of concern, a little pause as we continue to stretch to the upside, and that is we have swung from an oversold condition and just a real quick move oversold right back up here into an overbought condition on the short term and we continue to stretch to that upside so I will be watching for that possibility at any point in time we could see some profit taking coming in and a possible pullback now I'm not suggesting that we could um, swing all the way back down I'm not saying that at all just watching for that possibility that some profit takers could come in and we could soften up just a little bit as we push through these new records high so kind of keep that in mind and by the way it is important to note in this t2122 indicator it, it doesn't fail um, we push too far too fast and we typically see a pullback so just kind of keep that in mind this is a pretty stable indicator and although we've we've lingered up here much longer than I've seen in a long long time on this indicator we still have that possible uh, pullback um, in mind so watch that close then let's take a look at t2101 t2101 um, saw a little bit of rally yesterday which is I think is a good sign um, as we continue to try and push higher we need to see this market breadth um, actually supporting um, that going on that, the, that buying going on and notice that we've been in this downtrend and yesterday we saw uh, an increase in market breadth and I think that's a good sign um, we need to see that continue if we're going to remain on this bullish side and we need to see that pushing through this downtrend um, in that market breadth and that may be a, a bit of a, a challenge we'll see but watch that closely as that market breadth still still signaling a little bit of a problem here that we need to be aware of let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar this is what yeah, could change the market completely this morning although I'm, I'm not sure that it matters that much anymore um, right now the market seems to be totally focused on more stimulus we nothing seems to matter as long as we continue to deficit spend I don't know how much longer that condition will continue but that seems to be the case and if we take a look we've got that employment situation number to today and we've got the international trading goods now I can't tell you I have no idea what this number will be if it will be a bullish or bearish number we'll want to watch that closely that could definitely change the direction of the market this morning or create some volatility so be aware of that and um, it seems like nobody cares about the trade deficit situation anymore we know we're just running massive deficits 
nobody seems to care about that anymore. So as long as we continue to print money anyway, um, we don't seem to care about that that number. So watch those closely this morning. They may turn out to be a non-factor um, at all, um, but we want to be aware that we could move around there today. Now on the um, earnings calendar, we don't have um, nearly as busy a day as we have had the last few. We've only got about 40 companies reporting today. And um, not really, uh, I mean, we've got some notables in there, but probably not the big um, market moving notables um, on this Friday. So it's going to be kind of left up to the market in that jobs report. Um, to determine the direction for the day. However, we still have a few that we want to make note of. Take a look at um, CAH, CAH reporting, and looks like they're gapping higher this morning. This is the pre-market candle trying to push up here into this price resistance level. So Cardinal Health might be worth paying attention to. We've got Estee Lauder on the list today and looks like it is zooming up this morning in the pre-market candle. And as you can see, pushing right up here into all-time highs on Estee Lauder, so keep a close eye on that. Um, we've got ITW reporting this morning. Um, this has been obviously in a pretty substantial downtrend, trying to perk up, and you can see a little bit of bullishness coming in as we press into this price resistant level, resistance level. You might want to keep an eye on that. Um, I put J-O-U-T on the list. Um, strong stock, as you can see, it's had an amazing run up, but probably got a little ahead of itself. And now we're pushing back up here to test some resistance levels in the chart as we come out with that report. So watch that one closely. Um, LIN, I put on the list today. Um, once again, uh, pulling back, we're going to be we're pushing up this morning in that bullish candle. I can't tell you if that's the earnings report or just the morning bullishness going on. And notice we've got this little higher low coming in. But we are pushing up into some price resistance levels of this chart that we'll want to be aware of as we watch that. Um, let's see. Um, REGN. REGN I put on the list. And you can see this has been in a pretty substantial downtrend. But we have recently set this higher tried to set this higher low and it looks like the bulls are pushing this up this morning. So keep an eye on this, this biotech stock. A little bit of volatility here, um, obviously, but watch that carefully as we push back up. Um, SNY, whoops. SNY is on the list today. This, once again, has been in a real choppy pullback, as you can see here in the chart, trying to hold on to some support levels. But we'll have to watch that closely to see if that can push on through um, these levels and, and break on through with the earnings report today. Keep a close eye. And last but not least on the list today, SPB. Um, I don't know that this is going to have any major effect at all on um, a market direction, but um, a, a stock like this we want to pay attention to because this thing has been in an amazing run to the upside. And uh, we're tightening up this um, this channel here in the chart. And as we push back up to test this high, we'll want to watch that pretty closely on SPB. So keep an eye on that chart. It's looking very, very bullish. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon, making sure that you um, are notified every time I post one of these videos. I do do very much appreciate that. Um, the channel continues to grow. You guys are awesome. And if you feel these videos are worthy, if you feel this helps you prepare for your day and get ready for your day, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. You know, the purpose of these videos is to avoid the hype and drama. Really look at the technicals of the charts and see what we have um, to look forward to today. And um, I, I will tell you, honestly, this has helped me to maintain my full-time trading career uh, for more than 15 years. Um, putting two kids through college and being able to support my family for my trading profits. So if you find this to be helpful, please feel free to share this um, with anyone else out there. They may find it helpful as well. So share it out there on your social media 
platforms that you use. Let's take a look at um, some of these stocks setting up and keep in mind that every time I post a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, um, but it's something that you might wanna put on a watch list, do your own due diligence and evaluation of the chart and make sure that every chart, every chart that you look at, every chart that you choose to trade fits your personal trading plan and your personal risk tolerance. Trading someone else's trade is never a good idea. Make sure you know what you're doing and have a plan in those trades. Take a look at, um, I added some stocks to my watch list here. Um, ETN, kind of an interesting chart here. Um, and I was watching this for a potential failure. As you can see, we have a downtrend starting to happen here. And I placed a price alert in here on this chart. If we were to drop through this level, right in here, I could see it, that potential short setting up. So watch that closely. We've had a little struggle here in the chart. However, with the market being bullish, that may not be a, an option today. So watch that close. Take a look at Trex. Now Trex has been doing very, very well. Um, apparently we've been building a lot of decks um, during COVID. And as you can see, Trex moving up here um, really, really strong. We're testing these highs up here, pushing through. I think any rest or pullback in here um, could set up another opportunity for that um, upside trade. So keep an eye on tracks, looking pretty good. Take a look at rig. Now rig has been holding up really, really well here in this chart. And um, this is a, a, a driller and you can see um, rallying strongly here of late, looking good. And this nice little consolidating move underneath this price resistance here, I think is um, setting up a bullish pattern. So watch that in there as we build this energy, maybe we can pop on through here on rig and get that moving to the upside. Um, also take a look at Valero. Valero uh, making that effort to break through a resistance level here in the chart, showing bullishness, and this is a refiner, and as we push on through, we might still consolidate across this line a little bit, but, but watch for that next opportunity here in Valero. We may push on through and then move up into here to text, test this next resistance level in the chart. So Valero looking pretty good as well. Take a look at Generac, GNRC. GNRC has been trying to push on through. Notice we have this nice little upside trend going on here. We're holding in this little price support area, which puts this price action right here, and there's this little tiny consolidating zone, and that possibility that we could drift over here toward the trend and then find that energy to push on through. Might keep an eye on Generac. Um, pretty interesting chart. Definitely worth paying attention to. Uh, moving on through, um, Intel has been making some moves here recently and we're dealing with some major resistance levels in this chart. Look at how big this resistance is in the chart. If um, Intel can climb this wall of worry, break above that and prove to hold um, this higher low in here, we may actually resume an upside trend here in Intel. So keep a close eye on that um, as that pushes on through. Lots of bulls in the market, so no reason to believe why these charts can't continue to move on higher. Take a look at World Wrestling. Now, World Wrestling um, had a bad day yesterday, really rough day, but notice that the uh, those bulls pushed back hard after setting those lows. So let's watch this in here, see if there's an opportunity this can hold, maybe push on through and breaking through a resistance level in the chart might be worth keeping a close eye on. I, I put Disney on the list here, Disney with a new alert yesterday. And what I like about the chart is that we've broken this downtrend. We pushed back through this resistance in the chart. And what I'd be watching and waiting for, we did have a one day test of that support pushing on through. But as we test this resistance in here, watch for a little rest or consolidation, maybe even a little bit of pullback in here and then look for that next opportunity to the upside. Clearly their streaming service is becoming a powerhouse in the market. So watch for that closely. Disney looking pretty strong. Take a look at the Discovery Channel. Discovery looking very good here. Nice little consolidating move. We pushed up, as you can see, let me 
me pull this back. This is a weekly chart to um, a possible breakout of an all-time high. And notice we pushed through there, we got rejected on that. But notice that we're really not getting heavy selling um, in this move. What I think could be occurring is we're just resting in here, building some energy. We might be moving over toward this trend and watch that carefully. This has that possibility of maybe pushing on through to the upside. Other charts that you guys know that I've been paying attention to, Solo, Solo made a move yesterday, popping up, looking pretty good. Looks like it may try to extend that move here today. Keep an eye on Solo. These electric car makers have been um, performing incredibly well, and we got that pop in Solo yesterday. I've also been keeping a close eye on this NKLA, and as you can see, NKLA holding in here nice and tight off of this trend. And we just keep building that energy in here as if it wants to pop. So watch in here and KLA could finally pop and push on higher here at any time. Watch that one closely. Um, as you guys know, I've been watching um, some longer term um, trades. Take a look at um, 3M. Now 3M has been in an ugly, ugly downtrend for a very long time, but notice what we've got going on here. 3M in this longer term, pushing up through that downtrend, we're trying to hold right in here. So keep a close eye on this. Into, I mean, 3M could become a nice longer term trade. Keep a close eye on that. Looking pretty good overall. Um, I picked up a trade in Oracle. I've been keeping an eye on Oracle. Oracle breaking through. Let me show you here if I go back to a long-term chart. Breaking through this high that was set over here in 2000. Um, in 2001 during the tech bubble and we're finally climbing back up out of this and I think Oracle may actually be showing up as kind of an under love stock right now keep a close eye on that we're running nicely in this chart and a beautiful weekly pattern here if you like longer term trades and I did pick this up as a longer term hold watching that closely good divvy payer something that you might want to pay attention to pretty decent looking chart um, last but not least back on the daily chart i think we're just going to have to really stay focused in on cannabis plays um cannabis um in this new administration they're looking to legalize cannabis and as you can see uh pushing up in these trends um not really giving up after a substantial move up a little bit of resting move over here toward the trend may have some upside opportunity i made some money in um mj earlier this week and MJ is a is a cannabis ETF and that's continuing to show strength here. I think this needs a rest or pullback in that chart before I would be looking for another entry. But watch that closely. Um, MJ um, holding up, doing very, very well. And the other others out there like CGC, CGC is one of my favored um, cannabis um, stocks and not that I'm really in favor of cannabis, but um, one of the stronger cannabis companies out there um, that have um, stretched their distribution um, quite a few places around the world. This is holding up very, very strong. Any rest or pull back in here, moving back here to trend. As you can see, a couple of days, a little rest, move back here to trend, sets up but that opportunity to the upside. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. And as important as anything else, I want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Be safe out there. Have a great weekend. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a good one, everyone.